Hello, everybody, and welcome back to... What is this? What is this? What are we doing? We're re rewatching. <laughs> yeah, the Ruby rewatch. <laughs> um, I am Monkey D. Caleb, owner of this channel. Um, today we are covering episodes... I think it's 36? Yeah, 36. So, um, with uh, last time what happened previously was Pira got to finally talk with Ozpin and Crow about what they actually are. And as they mentioned, they're still the same old huntresses and huntsmen and teachers that they love, but their goal is not just protecting the students and making them stronger, they are actually part of a bigger team to save and protect the world. So, um, Pira found out that the maiden fairy tale that was previously told to her is actually true. There are four maidens, summer, spring, fall, and winter, and um, with each one that contains their abilities... Um, of that of their that season and they're really strong without they can use magic without like having to use dust uh, We found out the rules for maidens that only a female could be a maiden and for the prior maidens Powers to be reincarnated into another female that ha female has to be the last person in their thoughts before they die so um, Pira Still has to think about if she's really gonna accept that because with this exchange, it's not only the powers that could possibly be transferred over, but also the current Fall Maiden Spirit Amber into Pyrrha, and they might end up, like, her spirit might go into Pyrrha, and Pyrrha might not exist, or something like that. So, um, yeah, and that's kind of where we ended here, there. So, hopefully now, though, not gonna lie. Oh, and at the end of all this, though, um, Yang got in trouble because she fought Mercury, and Mercury's Team Evil changed the video to make it seem like she attacked him after already beating him when she did not. So, we're kind of continuing off of that crazy chaos for Yang, how she was kind of throwing the chaos for there. And the crazy part that I still remember that I pointed out that I saw was that even though that had happened with Yang or currently, or with um, with the Grimm, they actually reacted to the situation and started looking towards the stadium. So, when they saw that, some of the people in the the people in the stands got a little worrisome. They got fearful, and Grim feed off of that. They are lore towards that. So, I'm actually really liking this rewatch because I'm remembering all this as I go through. So it's just the the sooner we get to volume eight, which comes out soon, like the more excited and hyped I am. So, um, yeah. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Um, disclaimer: I'm gonna start throwing at the beginning of my videos. If you want to watch these along yourself, um, I mean you can watch them here. You got the full video, but Try supporting something on Rooster Teeth, as they're the ones who do the Ruby series. They're the creators of it. If you can, like, support them by watching them on their YouTube channel, buying their merch or whatever, that would be awesome. There, Okay, Yugi, I need you to chill. We're in recording mode. <laughs> All right, and then without further ado, though, three, two, one, let it rip. Okay, let's see. I want to be strong. A beautiful ring for a beautiful woman. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I want to be feared. What? Impossible! What did it? I want to be powerful. Someone call the police! How did she do that? <sighs> the heck? How did you do that? Oh. Emerald? Emerald with Cinder? Cinder looked. Amazing. Don't. Her outfit was amazing too. Unless, of course, you want them to hear you. Let's go. What do you want? I've already told you. And I don't like repeating myself. I didn't do anything. Just leave me alone. I know my fair share of liars and thieves. Stealing is an art of patience, coordination, and in a pinch, Sleight of hand. But you didn't steal that ring in your pocket. You took it right before the jeweler's eyes. And he smiled. Who are you? Uh. You will question everything you know. This is impossible. I wish to take on an apprentice. He lives in the mountains, with his son. Follow me, and you'll never be hungry again. Thank you. 
Oh. What are you looking at? I'm looking for Marcus Black. There you go. That's the assassin? And you're his son. Marcus we saw your Black. fight from the tree line. He's taught you well. Guess so. What's your name? Mercury. Mercury. Tell me, are you anything like your father? So what's in it for me? We don't need him. Everything was going fine. Ugh! Do not mistake your place. My dad always said, if you need to know a city, ask the rats. Well, hello, gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. You could have gone to anyone for help. You could have made a deal with a gang leader, paid off some huntsman that had strayed from their righteous path. But instead, you choose to seek an audience with me. You're the one we need. Your skill. Your ability to lead those beneath you. You're an exceptionally valuable man, Adam. And we've put a lot of thought into- Then you're clearly not thinking straight. If you truly understood me, then you would know that coming here was a mistake. The White Fang is not an organization for hire. We are a force of revolution. I believe our plan will be beneficial for all parties involved. Hmm. I have an associate in Vale. He and I are working on a revolution of our own, but we can't do it without your forces. We need- What you need is to leave. You were asking my men to die for your cause, a human cause. That is not an idea I am willing to entertain. Wow, I actually don't remember this origin well. playback at all. Cinder was amazing too. Like just the way she talks, the manipulation, her attitude, her outfit, the blades, she was super cool. What was that about? <sighs> Nothing. Blake. We need to finish preparing. The train will be here at dawn. Oh, right before it happens. Look at these little Easter eggs. Look at that. So now what? <laughs> There's another task we must attend to. Remember the plan. Exactly as discussed. Not a foot out of place. Three more years past, though, because our hair goes. Oh no. This is the maiden, isn't it? No, it looks like an old man. Oh, it's a maiden. It is her. Huh? Of course, I am. Oh, 
Use your powers. of them were. The Huntsman severed the connection before it was complete. Yes, it's an emptiness. It burns like hunger. I like it. Yes. I will claim what is ours. Thank you. We'll find her, sir. I swear on my life. Forget it. It's time I return to Mistral and... What is this? We could have gone to anyone for help, but we chose you, Adam Taurus. Our plan will be beneficial for both of us. Or one of us. So, which will it be? Wait, so... Was Adam actually afraid of her, or...? There's not going to be a next time, Blondie. Yang Xiao Long, stand down! Nah, makes sense though. Emerald faked that scene. My leg! My leg! Please! Right. Somebody oh, help some him! Evil people. Can you do something? Emerald's still really cute though. We need to get this boy to a hospital. Grab a blanket. You don't understand. He attacked me. I swear. Stow it. You've already caused enough of a scene. <laughs> now they're just gonna knock those guys out. Here, we've got an ambulance ready to go. <sighs> Hope they'll be okay. That girl won't leave his side. We'll take good care of both of them. God, just how coordinated and planned they are. Evil geniuses. Evil. Oh, Doc, geniuses. tell me, will I ever walk again? Ow! What's your deal? Uh, a headache. One mind I can handle, but two is a stretch. Well, you all performed marvelously. Driver included. Mm. So, you think it worked? A terrible tragedy took place this afternoon during the one-on-one -on -one rounds of the Vital Festival Tournament. I don't know what Beacon's Headmaster is teaching his students, but that was disgraceful. Completely uncalled for. Despite Atlas reinforcements, local authorities are still calling on any available huntsmen to aid in suppressing the spike in grim activity. Hey, I was watching that. Shut up. Is this how you treat a patient? Ow, too tight. Enough. <laughs> Our Mercury put on a wonderful show. He was quite brave. These things aren't exactly cheap, you know. So what's next? 
you and I will ensure that our next matchup goes just as smoothly. Oh, what about me? You get to lay low until the end. We wouldn't want people to see you on your feet and have this all be for naught now, would we? Can do. That is pretty cool that his legs are robotic, though. <sighs> All right. Well, that was literally the entire flashback. And honestly, I'm not going to show it, but I'm going to let the credits play on that in the top left. You know, you know, why not let it show or whatever? I don't care. I don't know. Whatever. If it's showing, it's showing. If it's not, it's not. Um, that was really cool to see, though, everyone's, like, origin with it. So, Emerald just being this thief on the streets, being picked up by Cinder for her evil ambitions. Mercury, who... His dad was an assassin, and they fought, and he killed his own father. Um, it looked like he replaced his legs. I don't know, like... I couldn't tell it. If the leg replacement was, like, intentional or not. Like, did he hate his father because his father took away his legs and gave him robotic legs? Or did something happen to Murky where he needed robotic legs? I can't... I don't think that ever got explained. And for some reason, as I was watching this entire thing, the whole time in my head, I'm thinking, doesn't he have robotic legs? And now I remember why, because I remember seeing it when I first watched it. So, that's really cool. And then again, Cinder just... Oh, like, I would fall in love with a chick like that. Besides the evil. Take away the evil and it's... <laughs> to replace it with good and there you go. She looked amazing in her outfits though, but her skills are really cool. And just seeing her origin of being like a small little villain that's still a side to like a bigger one. But like, she seems to be the main villain right now and you don't and you don't know what else to come. This is really cool of it. So, completely forgot this flashback. So, I feel bad for Amber. I don't, I don't like the fact that she got whooped like that, but... So the story goes, but man, that's just so crazy. Like, she had the powers of a maiden, and those three still took her down. And it obviously it was a cheap shot, you know, distractions, three against one, two. That wasn't really fair, but, like, when you're fighting for your life out there, anything goes. And, you know, as a maiden, she should have used more of her powers if she couldn't have to take them down or been a bit more prepared. But, you know, she didn't know what else to expect from them. I just feel like the maiden could have done more though with all that power, plus just being a base, you know, hunter or whatever. So, I don't know. I hope we get, like, an origin story of Amber, though, because just to get a maiden like that and then she goes away, it'd be cool if we get, like, origin stories for each of the maidens later down the road that, like, show what who they were before they got the maiden powers, what they could do. Just, like, a little side storytelling would be really cool. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's episode. Like I said, I'm going to do just one episode. I'm trying to keep them close to the 20-minute mark. If they have to go even further than that, like the finale for this volume, um, then we'll go even further than that for that part. So, I think that's volume three, part two, as we'll be in, or part one. Well, either way, yeah. So, anyway, please like, comment, on, like and comment the video. Please comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. We got... Uh, God of High School on Mondays and Final Space Fridays continuously going on through the weeks right now. And then Ruby Wednesdays as you've already stopped by and have graced yourself with my presence. So, or graced, your, graced me with your presence. Either way, hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time when we jump into the fray. Peace out.